What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Morty in multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks you need to know about, some best strategies to keep in mind, perk recommendations, fun starting combos, and more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more multiverses content and let's go ahead and talk about Morty. Morty is technically classified as a bruiser, but he plays kind of like a mage. So if you want a bruiser with some cooldown abilities and some really crazy stuff, Morty's gonna be your guy. We can earth bend. That earth bending spike does apply weakened as well, by the way. Morty can toss grenades. They do detonate after their period of time as you can see there but using the earth bending move on the grenades actually splits the grenades into more like this now we got four grenades his neutral attack is a ray and at the end that ray will split into some snakes do you space that out right this is a really good move you just gotta find that right spacing and when to shoot it now if you do that and the next time you shoot it it's on cooldown so you can't actually do it again but you can spam this projectile that does one damage each that snake shot let's call it is actually also shared with your up attack and saying that you can charge that and it splits into snakes afterwards but if it's on cooldown the same thing we just get like a normal blaster no matter which way morty is facing he will always shoot the grenades if they're out and a really fun strategy is to throw out those grenades split them immediately then shoot them now you're exploding four grenades at once rather than just the two. Morty's down special is a life-saving point that is in the air and on the ground. After duration, we will go back there no matter what, like this, and we'll spawn a grenade from where we were, which we can then split and shoot. Your side special in the air gives you a teleport, which you can aim, and you get armor on this as well. Pretty good for recovery if needed. Morty's up special is probably one of the most interesting moves in the game, in my opinion. It spawns this UFO, which carries you and your opponent or anybody on it all the way upwards till death. Now, why might you do this? This is a moving platform, so if you're if you're good enough and quick enough, you can actually just kill your opponent that way. Or worst case, use it for recovery if needed. If you have your life point out like this, you can just go right back to it automatically, or you can manually choose to go back there whenever you want to by pressing down special again. Some strategy this way might be to put out that save point, then rush your opponent, and if you mess up, just go right back there instead. Kind of like a freebie, right? Like, I'm gonna go rush you, and if I mess up, I'm good. Morty side attack in the air, you can charge, and it hits twice. Really good kill potential and a fun combo. His down air is so good. So is his up air as well. That, as you can see there, ignites our opponent, making them take damage over time. Morty's got a really good side air, down air, and up air. Also, fun fact, if Morty has an outline, he just walks right by him, he gives them a grenade, and whatever direction their next attack is, they will throw that grenade in that direction. Kind of a cool thing just to give your opponent a free weapon, I guess. So yeah, Morty is a team player. Also, a quick tip, this portal you create with air side special, this portal that appears, any ally projectiles that pass through it get increased speed. Just so you know. Another thing regarding an ally, not only does Morty give them a grenade, but if Morty has the save point out during the fight and your opponent is about to get rung out, they will actually teleport back to that save point instead. Morty can literally save his ally's life and it's awesome. Also, quick side tip, Morty can actually move while holding his down attack on the ground and that breaks armor too. So those are some tips regarding his entire move set. Now let's talk about Morty's best killing option. The grenades when they explode are really good, but the grenades and the earth bending, the save point, those are all cooldown abilities you need to worry about while fighting. He is a bruiser while he fights he's got a really good three hit combo and you can delay that last attack by just a hair and i recommend doing that to catch your opponent if they want to dodge into it or if they accidentally do it like this hold it then go his down air is really good and like i said so is his up air too his side air is really good especially when charged all of those have really good kill potential you're usually comboing into your down air or your up air most of the time or making your opponent fall into a grenade that you can just like shoot now let's talk about Morty's neutral game. What do you want to do in neutral like this when your opponent is going to be approaching you or how do you approach your opponent? You want to make your opponent not really want to approach you because again, Morty is a bruiser, but he's got some tools that they can really feel like a mage. So throw out your grenades, split them, make your opponent not want to approach you like that. Oh, there's a grenade, they approach you, sight, run away for a brief moment, get a save point, then rush your opponent. If you mess up, you're getting far away, dash back to it, you drop a grenade, shoot that grenade. If you really want to play ballsy, go to the edge of the screen and do up special. Make your opponent come to you and fight on this. <laughs> that can make for some really fun combos and kills. By the way, your third attack on your side attack combo here, this like hammer, that's got really good range. So you can start it here and end up hitting your opponent. Rush in, side attack, ground combo here, throw grenades, shoot. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but Morty is a bruiser, but he feels kind of like a bruiser slash mage. It's a good mixture and I love it. Now, what about some fun starting combo? Honestly, his three hit combo is just too good to ignore. Simple, but effective. I like to side air, then land, and three hit combo. Usually your down air will bounce them high enough to just do up air. 
These aren't true combos, sure, but they are moves that go together pretty well. You can three hit combo, then throw a grenade, then shoot the grenade. That's really good for catching opponents that want to rush you back. A fun combo that not a lot of Modi players know about is you do side attack twice and then neutral attack. That's a separate combo than his three hits side attack. So side, side, neutral. You see that whip right there? That brought us to our opponent. And that can make for some really fun combo setups. Now let's go and talk about my favorite perks to use for Morty. Morty is one of the very few characters in the game that actually has three signature perks. Oh, that's still a grenade. I'm more than just a hammer and extra fleeb juice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't really ever use extra fleeb juice. I just don't really use down attack that often. I find myself too busy doing a lot of other things during the fight to really worry about it. So one, if you use your side three hit combo a lot, this is a great perk. Cause whenever you do hammer Morty, you just keep spinning in circles, hitting your opponent. Makes it great to catch opponents trying to dodge away. They usually get caught into it. Multiple tags great killing potential but i find myself using oh that's still a grenade a lot more often the grenades are just a huge part of morty's moves and his game plan this increases the explosion radius of morty's grenades and so with always trying to throw out grenades and keeping that pressure on the field i get more kills off of this than you'd probably expect especially when you throw out two you split them now you got four then if you play duos your allies grenade that you give them always has the maximum explosion radius this one feels like a bit more pressure on the field and i like that personally as a fighter so i'd recommend this one but try them both they're a ton of fun morty has more than a couple Couple projectiles so using that flammable dock is actually a good choice your team can melee an enemy after hitting them with a projectile to ignite them we can ignite them with our up attack in the air yes this is also a great way to do that you can use snowball effect and purest of motivations for more damage as well if you want to i do here and there but i use that flammable dock a lot more he's a bruiser slash mage and i always want more speed anyway so i use speed force assist or i use too fast to block and the reason why is this uh where your dash attacks break armor if you're fighting a tank that uses a lot of armor other bruisers that have armor a lot of the time more he's got a one hit dash attack so this is just too good for that but i usually use speed force assist more often we don't really need to use that walker a lot of the time because we have our up special but i wouldn't blame you for trying that out with morty and he's got some really good melee attacks and melee damage so increasing that with pugilist is always a good option i think but because we have so many ways to to hit our opponent from mid to long range using armor killer where hitting an armored enemy will briefly stop them from using armor is also a good choice because then while they can't use the armor you're not afraid to get in there so you can play from like mid to long range Range, break their armor, stop them from using it, get in their face, not to worry about. But I typically use Pugilist a lot more often. So Pugilist for more damage. I want more speed. I want to ignite my opponents as much as possible. And I want my grenades explosions to be a lot larger. Let me know your thoughts on Morty and Multiverses in the comments below. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main? He's one of my mains and I love him. Subscribe here for more Multiverses and fighting game content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Multiverses news, guides, tutorials, and more.